Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of LMS Cast. I'm Joshua Millage, and I'm joined with Christopher Badgett. And today we're talking about three course blueprints for modern instructional design that works. And Chris, let me ask you the question, just a clarifying question before we jump in. What does instructional design mean? That's a good question. I think it's open to interpretation, but essentially what it is is having an intentional approach to, to architecting a learning environment and building the structure for that, whether that's all digital or blended or flipped classroom or whatever, but just to be very intentional and pl- put a plan together on how you want to take a learner from a certain point to a desired outcome. Yeah. It, it, and the way that I would say it really simply would be, um, you know, how you structure your course. <laughs> mm-hmm. There you go. So, you know, if, if um, I think a lot of people just structure their courses by putting a bunch of videos up and they call it a day. And there's so many other elements, like how are you going to connect them with the community? How are you going to, what, length is your lessons going to be um you know all of that plays into uh plays into the the overall i guess course blueprint that i would you know that i'm talking about uh in the course the mini course that i created and uh you know if you're interested in taking that actually you can head over to um course you could actually text us uh, by sending us a text at uh, 33444 and you just text course blueprint uh, over to that address and we'll send you a link um, and you will uh, you'll actually be able to take the course that I created on course blueprints and I structure it you know I, I, I kind of introduce three different course blueprints the first is a, a course blueprint that's really focused on behavioral change so if your teaching material lines up with any sort of you know how to lose weight how to create a morning routine, anything like that, anything that's speaking to a behavior. um, This is a course blueprint that's really focused on that. Um, The other is a a learn a process blueprint. So if you're teaching how to build an email list or how to SEO, you know, YouTube videos, something that's more step by step, um, there's a specific structure for that and a blueprint for that. And then the other is a reference course. So a course that's really focused on, um, uh, sharing a lot of information. Usually these courses follow the trend of something that is um, dynamic in nature. So maybe you're teaching PHP code. Maybe you're teaching how to do Facebook ads. These different types of training, um, it's hard to structure them because PHP, you know, uh, YouTube ads, like any of these things, they change almost on a week-to-week basis. So by the time that you have your course design and your structure design, it's probably irrelevant. So it's you, there's certain things you need to do to onboard people into this course structure, but then I'll also help them find the most up-to-date information uh, because in that type of course, if you go to create that type of course, you're really going to have to be updating your content continually because your course will become irrelevant given the nature of what you're teaching. So those are the high level of the three blueprints. And Chris, I don't know if you want me to jump into any of them or uh where you want to go but that you know i think that people need to really focus on the blueprint of their course not yes the content is is absolutely important it's the most important thing is what you're teaching but how you structure it comes in at a close second i think i think that's great and it's awesome to really separate out those three distinct archetypes of courses yeah and uh what was that what do people need to do to get their hands on that again if you just text the word course blueprint all one word to uh, 33444. It's going to ping you back and ask for your email. You'll text the email in and then it'll send you a link to the first video in the series. And uh, I'm really excited because it's something that I've put a lot of time and effort and energy into. Um, and uh, I think people will enjoy it. I introduced th- those three blueprints in great detail. So, yeah, maybe, to check it out. Maybe let's drop us uh, just. A, a tip or a spoiler from the um, behavior change <clears throat> blueprint. Like, what is one of the coolest things that that you find in that particular archetype? Yeah, in that archetype, I think that um, out of more so than any of the other archetypes is that uh, there's a couple things that are true against all of them. So I'll start there, and then I'll give one away because I need the context of of human motivation. So human motivation, like. Uh, is interesting like we all get very motivated after we take certain actions so for instance um, you know you buy a book on weight loss 
you're the most of it motivated when you bought the book. But over the course of the next few days and weeks, like, did you finish the book? You know, like right. I didn't, you know, <laughs> yeah. or same thing with a course. You bought a course on how to build an email list. You got through the introduction in lesson one. You didn't get any farther. So this is just a common human motivation pattern. You register for a course, you, you make a purchase, you have a spike in engagement. And so across the board, you need to take advantage of what you tell people to do first because the, the odds that they will consume that are the highest. So, mm-hmm. you know, for me, when it comes to behavioral change, it's really setting up and continually selling the change. So right. you're, you had a pitch to sell them into the course now you need to pitch them immediately to finish the course and so why they keep need to them f- motivated keep them motivated and yeah. tell them what they're going to learn at the end of lesson two lesson three lesson four like show them the positive progress that they're going to experience over the life of that course because they need to you need to basically open a bunch of loops and then close them in each lesson um and 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 really you can also get away with a little bit longer lesson in in that window so if your average, you know, lesson is 10 minutes, you can get up to, you know, an hour, 45 minutes, an hour lesson right out of the gate because people are going to set aside the time to do that. And you can frame that for them. You can say, hey, you know, first thing we're going to do, I need you to close everything out and we're going to take 45 minutes together. and We're going to walk through where we're headed over the next few weeks in terms of, be, you know, changing the way that you think about your food for weight loss or something like that. So <clears throat> that's really true. I think the thing about the behavior change course is most people um, really fail to put things in the path of their student that gives them positive results. So Eben Pagan in his um, training, Wake Up Productive, I mean, the first thing that you do in this, the, the, and Wake Up Productive is a course that follows this blueprint pretty much to a T. And um, Eben does a great job of giving some really high leverage, but easy to implement things out of out of the gate, which is, you know, when you're first starting out, you know, wake up, have a glass of water, do some exercise, have a healthy meal. Like that's it. You know, that's all you're doing. And you do, you got to escape habit gravity. So in his presentation, he gives a lot of, he has a lot of talk around habit gravity, what that means. So you, you get a concept and you get to do something for a week that's really simple and easy to do. And so um, that's just an example. So yeah, I think that's a little teaser for everyone. But yeah, text the word course blueprint to three three four four four, and we'll get you connected with the um, the uh, the first video in the series. And uh, I also do some other kind of fun things. I'm tracking to see how much video, how much of each video someone watches. So um, if they consume the content, they get rewarded. So you'll see what that means if you jump in and, and consume all the videos. So yeah. That's that's a little bit of a, a sneak peek for everyone. Good deal. And just one more tool in the behavior change thing is that we've seen that works is a, to have a quick start or a fast start is like the first thing people do. Yeah. And but like you said, that motivation is super high. So people, you can really pack a lot in, but they need to experience wins like you're talking about and mm-hmm. escape that habit gravity. So if you can do some kind of fast start or quick start in the beginning of your course, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, absolutely. Right on. Well, we'd love to hear from you and what you think about this. If you want to head over to uh, lmscast.com and leave us a comment on this episode, I know that we would really appreciate it. You can always hit us up on Twitter too, at Jay Millage and at Chris. Is it Chris Badgett? Yeah, at Chris Badgett. At Chris Badgett. Cool. Well, until next week, we'll talk to you soon.